Again, uh, number two basic trimming tools. Each time before I trim, I usually uh, make sure my tool is sharp. I, I like to use a very sharp tool to trim. That way I, uh, I can get my job done easier and can see that when I shave in it, uh, when the tool is very sharp, you, you can remove the, the clay easily. And the first <clears throat> thing I do, because this I throw this up the hump, so uh, I'm just using my trimming tool and hold it level. Start from the center point and slowly move to the side while the wheel is spinning, so that uh, I make my foot level. And then I'm. Um, I'm using the corner, the corner of my number two trimming tools. I hold it there and hold it at an angle. You see that angle here. I'm using the angle to make a mark. So this is where I'm going to have my foot ring. And the middle part here, that's the clay that I need to remove. So hold it the finger there, hold it there and just making a mark here so the clay in the middle I don't need it and then I'm holding my tool at an angle here, you see the angle start from the center point and slowly drag my tool to the side Check the thickness. Okay, a little bit more to go. I cut it uh, deep enough I usually like to get take care of the uh, the corner the inside corner so this is the when I turn my um, trimming tool see that my tool has a 90 degrees angle here so I start from to, I start to move my tool slowly to go to take care of the inside corner Just fine tune the, the foot here on the outside. I usually like to get a, a 
undercut here on the, the foot I will leave it a little bit tall enough so when I'm glazing I get, my finger can hold it here easier for me to dip it in the glaze bucket And then I come back here to round the corner. And I use the back of my, you can use the back of the uh, trimming tool when you have a uh, standard steel. You can just compress it. Or we can use the uh, shiny rock to uh, burnish, compress the foot. Um, usually I like to uh, kind of lightly trim this part here. And you can see that there's a, a curved side here. So uh, you need to find the tool with the curve because um, if you try to use the uh, straight edge you can see the straight edge uh, you won't be able to cut it smoothly okay you will have lines there so uh, this is when uh, I you are using the um, number this is my number five trimming tool um, there's a curve here so you can use that number five to just take care of the curve So the line was removed and I could put it back. Okay, and uh, now just put a stamp on my foot. Twisted, and I can remove the mug and uh, here on the rim, you can use a sponge, just smooth it. Uh, I use a sponge on my porcelain because since porcelain is a very fine particle, so uh, it will be fine. But if you have stoneware, uh, I wouldn't recommend you use. Uh, the sponge to do that okay uh, you can use either use a, a paper towel or you can use a chamois to to do that because the sponge usually drag out the uh, the rough grog and your rim will be uh, too rough so uh, if you have a, a porcelain it will be fine okay uh, before I attach my handle 
I have to show you how I usually finish up my pieces. Uh, before I trim my parts, I usually pull my handle first. Maybe hour, an hour, two hours before I attach the handle. So the handle has been drying for, I think, more than two hours. Um, I think the softness is ready to for me to attach it. And uh, also, I usually uh, trim all my marks all together, um, cover with plastic bag. Um, after I finish them all, I attach all the handles all at once. This is my usual process for uh, adding handle to my marks. Okay, uh, I'm ready to attach the handle to my mug. And, uh, I already cut the handle from where I show that I hang my handles. Um, before I attach it, I usually like to uh, score them. When I'm cutting, you can see that I cut a little curve on my handle and I score it. And I uh, usually use my fingertip to uh, fingernail to tap it so all the uh, where the attached surface is a little bit larger okay um, then I um, usually uh, put my handle right on top of um, my stamp so I score here And I add in slip. Also add in slip on the handle. And then I'm ready to attach the handle. Make sure uh, when you are attaching the handle, put your hand behind the rim to support it. And you want to apply a little bit more pressure and squeeze it until the handle is secure attached. Okay, and then since my handle has been, has been hanging there for two hours, so it's a little bit stiff, so you can see that. When you bend it, it's still bendable, but uh, I still uh, firm enough and it's not very slippery because the, all the moisture has been dry, so it's easy for my, my fingers to handle. And you can adjust the curve too, if you like. So this is roughly where I'm going to cut. So I could score a little bit here too. And also add in some slip here. And just lightly attach to it. And without press it firmer I like to uh, to know that see if the curve is nice or not or that the size of the curve the size of the handle is big enough usually I prefer at least two fingers that you can go in there freely so that's the uh, the size of my handles And uh, after I got my right size, I kind of uh, compressed it here on the bottom. And then uh, get a sharp tool, just cut it. And remove the handle. And then uh, before you compress it further, 
I usually like to get a drip of water there right at the joint. Just get a brush and brush some water there. And then my wall might be a little bit too thin so because uh, usually I trim my porcelain very thin so I usually have my finger inside right there inside so while I'm compressing it, I have a support inside. So just compressed it. And since there's a little bit of water there, so it's very easy to compress and slippery. Um, for the little bit roughness, here it's okay. You can wait till it gets dry. And it's easy to smooth it out. And uh, can adjust the handle a little bit. So you can see the handle is nice, hanging there naturally. Um, how about a little bit of a slip overlap there? I wouldn't touch it. Okay, I will wait uh, maybe 10-15 uh, minutes later uh, once the, uh, the the body of the mug throw some water from the slip it will be dry and it's very easy to take care of by just using a needle tool use a needle tool to smooth it or you can use your finger and put some water there to smooth it so that's the uh, making the mug for the handle, attach the handle Okay, thanks for watching.